was looking for a school that was a little bit different from what I had known. I wanted to get away from you know, all the snow of Ohio. Um, but I also wanted to kind of find a school that could kind of support all the different interests I had. You know, kind of the story of my life, I've been, you know, I've been raised by a family of scientists. Um, so science has always kind of been a very uh, an integral part of my life, but my rebellious phase was in the classics. Uh, I discovered in high school that I had you know, a huge passion for you know, ancient Rome and Greece and all the different mythologies of the world. But this line shows you the three different ways to pronounce G, right? So I was kind of looking for a place you know, where I could really pursue both of those. And when I got to, to Rice, I, I, you know, I was researching all the different schools, got the medical center across the street, um, you know, a great science background. Um, but it also has, when I visited, I found it kind of had a, what I call like the double uh, major mentality. Um, you know, a lot of students are interested in you know, such a diverse area of fields, um, but they don't study one to the exclusion of the other. They like to kind of, you know, cherish all their interests and see how they work together. What? <laughs> and so I really love that about Rice. Um, I really love the campus, I really love the culture. Um, so it kind of settled it, and I decided to come here. First when I came here, I was still kind of a little bit confused about you know my different interests in science and, and the classics and you know how I was going to tie that together in my work. But I found this really great program through Rice at the Baylor College of Medicine called the Health Humanism and Society Scholars Program. Um, and basically what I did is I worked on a bioethics project uh, over in the medical center for about a year and a half. It's a really great opportunity to kind of uh, explore you know my interest in the humanities uh, as well as you know, medical research. And so, you know, the next research project I did over in the medical center was at uh, MD Anderson, uh, working on tumor immunology. It kind of turned towards the path that I want to follow uh, in cancer research. A lot of people when they hear about, you know, the kinds of stuff I'm doing and the kinds of things I'm applying for, they think, you know, this guy must be working 24-7 or he must never be having any fun. But I, I think Rice is a, is a great place because it's not very, you know, cutthroat. You know, you can go out and do these fun things while you're also in the lab and making important discoveries and things like that. Oh! When I'm not in the lab or in the classroom, you'll find me out on the intramural fields. Here we go. I also do a lot of stuff in the student government here. Like the residential college life, I think, is you, know, you can't match it. See, I never really thought of myself as somebody who would you know, apply for the Rose or some of these other really competitive scholarships. And you know, I, I came to realize that this is something that I think would be just incredibly valuable to both my personal development and who I wanted to be as a researcher. So I came back to campus this fall. I've been working uh, with the Center for Civic Leadership to kind of prepare myself, and uh, I decided I was just going to give it a go. I was going to apply for the roads and see what happens. Um, and I, I'm just still amazed. This is like the first fellowship that I've really applied for through the CCL, but they did such a great job preparing me and it turned out really well. I think what set me apart is that I kind of had this grounding in, in different areas. I think really Bryce helped, helped me foster that. I would say Rice is kind of a place where you can explore all of your passions, you know, not to the exclusion of anything else that you're interested in. I think a lot of schools kind of fall into this hole where you know, if you're a pre-med, you kind of have to follow this set route. I think what's great about Rice is, yeah, you have people who are following a traditional path, but you also have people who are you know, music pre-meds or you know, classical studies pre-meds. The, the breadth of the different things that people are interested in are able to pursue while at the same time being prepared for what they want to do in the future. I think that's kind of what makes Rice a special place.